Hi you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today we are going to be looking at my sketchbooks from the year 2013 all the way up until 2018. Basically from when I was a freshman in high school to a freshman in university. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it can spark something creative for you or help you in any kind of positive way. But yeah, let's get into it. So this first sketchbook is from grade 9. It was from my first year in high school, and I was actually in a visual arts program at my high school, so it was mandatory for us to keep a sketchbook. And when I was a freshman, for some reason I loved drawing directly from a picture reference, and I really, really tried hard to achieve a hyper-realistic style, with pencil crayons especially. And I followed so many people on Instagram at the time who inspired me to do this. This was the first time I had ever planned my art in advance and put that much thinking into it. Um, but that was the first thing we learned in the arts program was to do that. Pretty mild stuff, but I was just starting to learn how to do proper portraiture, although my attempts were still very cringy. I was just learning some of the different facial features and facial anatomy. I also learned about expressionism and I transformed this little cactus for an assignment. But this is my kind of on-the-side attempt at animated characters. Uh, this little guy was called Griswold the Miserable Grapefruit, I think. And he definitely shreds. <laughs> I think this was also when I was taught proper perspective drawing for the first time. But overall, the sketchbook was filled with many firsts, and I was just starting to learn about the purpose of a sketchbook as an art tool. So this was an art journal that I was keeping at the same time as my first sketchbook. It's really strange because I didn't know exactly how to generate my emotions into my public art just yet. So I had this one very neutral school sketchbook and then the secret emo journal, which I realized later served me a great purpose as an artist. Um, and I pretty much just drew a bunch of visuals to go along with a sentence or two about how I felt and kind of let it get super loose and messy and informal. Sometimes in here I just wrote notes or to-do lists or I used it as a travel journal, which was super convenient due to its size. And at the end, you can kind of see, I started to ditch the picture concept and I just started writing a lot of really big entries because I had a lot of angst. <laughs> and the next sketchbook that follows is my 2014 art journal, um, because before you know it, the first one was done, but I really want to keep up the flow. So I got this little moleskin, which again, is the perfect size to bring anywhere. Again, lots of writing. I still have lots of emotions and lots to say about them. Um, I did a lot of these little doodles in class because I have really bad ADHD and drawing is really the only thing I can concentrate on. <laughs> and again, I used this guy as a travel journal for when I went to Hawaii and I drew on the plane and I collected all sorts of little things. The next sketchbook that follows is for the next year of school, grade 10, and it's just full of drawings I did in class when I couldn't focus. My interest in photography and videography shows here because I drew a lot of storyboards for experimental films. I also continued to work on facial features, develop my portraiture further. And I started to actually improve in portraits and just drawing in general because I had much better control and technique already. And you can see in the pages where I'm planning pieces, there's a little more genuine thought put into them and more concepts are explored for sure. I did these little drawings like in 2014 and I never like developed it into a final concept but uh, but then years later I found this girl on Instagram who's literally been doing it and I don't think by any means she copied me but I think it's super interesting how our minds were like on the same plane when we both created it. And this was 2014, 2015 as well. It was my little poetry book that I was keeping and I just wrote a bunch of emo poems. The next sketchbook was for my grade 11 school year. And as you can see already from these first few planning pages, I was not messing around. This was the year that I started to realize my love for art and really decided to take it seriously. The third year of the program was also a lot more challenging and required a lot of thinking behind all the assignments I did. And throughout this whole year, I started to plan out everything I did in a creative way. So I literally just used my sketchbook to plan out anything in my life at the time. Because I realized that that way of thinking really started to work for me. And moving on to my senior year sketchbook, this year the ante was really upped and I had to apply to a bunch of art colleges and they do look at your most recent sketchbook so I really tried to continue what I'd started in the last one um, in terms of planning, thinking, brainstorming. 
One thing I did find funny flipping through is that every page is dedicated to a project I was doing outside of my classes. I was planning out all my own paintings, not for school, and I was experimenting with new styles and incorporated several paintings and color studies into this one, which I think was a huge step up from all the other ones, and it's something I continue to do today. I was keeping this little journal for a period of time in 2017, just for little quick ideas or doodles, mostly for pure humor or out of pure boredom. I really liked using markers to draw at this time, but this book consists of all sorts of random crap. And lastly is my current sketchbook. Uh, it started out with all sorts of ink and watercolor studies of like the pond on my university campus. Then of course, once the semester started, there was more project planning, um, lots of scribbles and swatches. Again, I still love using marker and I'm not even halfway through this one yet, so she's very much a work in progress. Thank you so much for watching this video and leave your comments down below. Um, for any other artists, how many sketchbooks have you gone through so far? Even if you're not all the way through high school, it's okay. Like, how many sketchbooks have you gone through? Your girl wants to know.